Okay, the original uh, topic I started on today was uh, chiropractic and kinesiology and the Olympics. Uh, it was the Olympics because of my relationship to the Olympics and what I know about the Olympics. Since they're going on in London right now, so that gives you kind of a time frame of uh, that it's August 2012. Uh, but uh, Kinesiology, like I said in an earlier video, was innovated by a man named George Goodhart, who I had the great honor to study with. And then I studied with a man named Alan Beardall. And he looked at the body, your body, as a biological computer. And I don't know if you know, the, the binary system of computers are open and shut, or one, two, and the oh, zero, one, so it's open or closed. And the whole system is a binary system, or at least it was, maybe it's changed. Though. But the human system also is a binary system. It, it's open or closed, it says yes or no. A muscle is weak or is it, it is strong. And if you can ask the body through that venue what the weakness is about or what causes it to be strong and get the body to fix itself, then you can absolutely have some outstanding effects on the body. Uh, kinesiology has been taken over by a bunch of different schools and different societies uh, because being a chiropractor and a kinesiology, first of all, chiropractors, quack, 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 huh? I mean, mm, people who like them and believe in them, uh, like them and believe in them, but uh, people who've never been to them a lot of times or they went and once and didn't like the chiropractor, just got them out of the yellow pages or what, ever. But kinesiology was this innovation in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and well, it went on into this century as well. And, uh, but I was here at the Barcelona Chiropractic College a few months ago, and one of the teachers here had been having gallbladder problems for years. Young man. Well, not that young, but 12 years younger than me, also born near the snake. And he is the uh, uh, teacher, he teaches people how to adjust okay, at the school, the students how to adjust. And I've been kind of chasing them around. Finally, uh, we found each other at the school where the tables were. I said, look, let me just take a look at this. You know, I've had gallbladder problems myself. Let me take a look at your gallbladder and see if there's some things that we can see kinesiologically that will uh, enhance or help you get asymptomatic from what's going on. Because apparently he'd been uh, with these gallbladder problems for six years, I think is what he said. And a lot, he said, he said, it's almost constant. He said, it's always bothering me. And since I've had gallbladder problems and I maintain a relatively healthy gallbladder nowadays, I have the confidence to say, okay, let's just see. And I've said for years, with kinesiology, if the body will answer you, if you can get the body to acknowledge that it's got a problem, then the, the body has the capacity to heal that problem uh, not only because it's an acknowledgement, but sometimes that's enough. Sometimes just the body going, oh yeah, wait a minute, there is a problem there. And sometimes you have to do a direct intervention. So this one and the next one are going to be talking about uh, gallbladders, of all things, if you have one. <laughs> Most people do, unless the Western medical doctors have found something wrong with it. And it's one of those vestigial organs that you don't need, even though your liver works twice as hard after you have it removed. Okay, we'll talk about that www.micpeakperformance.com